Hello everybody and welcome back to Mr. P channel. You have your Windows gaming PC and you own a Chromebook with Android enabled. In this video, let's test how you can play your Windows gaming PC games when you're out and about and that's all you have is your Chromebook device. How I set up all this is basically behind this monitor is my gaming PC screen it's right now connected to my PC tower, which is basically got GTX 1050 Ti, 8GB of RAM, and uh, i3 processor. It's not the fastest CPU, but it's playable. You can play most of the games with no problems at all. And this is Acer Chromebook i11, which is basically a Chromebook with Google Play to enable, so I can download and install Android apps and games on this device. First thing first is what you need to do this will work only if you have NVIDIA graphics cards, starting with, if I remember correctly, from GTX 650 and up. I already done a video where I'm showing you this Moonlight Android app, how it performs on a deck station, so you can go and check that video out. It's basically a similar setup and etc. Just instead of uh, me using a deck station, I'll use my Chromebook with Android enabled. <clears throat> so, <coughs> excuse me. First thing first, what I'll do quickly, I'll test. I'm not sure if the camera will be able to pick it up, but what I did is I opened the NVIDIA GeForce Experience. You can find by going for a tray or just typing in the search address in the, at the start, just type GeForce Experience and you should see the list of your games. <coughs> Excuse me, list of your games opened. What I need to do, I need to go and click on the settings icon on the top right corner and under shield, you need to make sure that this is enabled. If this is enabled, it means your NVIDIA graphics card allows you to do game streaming. All well and good. And another thing, if you go to a general, which is there and go on this side, you see game stream, make sure all these has a tick. If it all has a tick, that is all fine. And it says here GeForce GTX um, CPU, GeForce GTX graphics card from 600 series and higher. So if you have GTX 600 and higher, you'll be able to do this. So this is all set up. Next thing on the Chromebook, I will download an app and um, we're going to set that up. On a Chromebook, as you normally would do with a Google Play Store enabled, you need to go to a store and search for Moonlight. So just search for Moonlight. And one of the suggestions says Moonlight Game Streaming. So I just click on this, opens up and install this app. It's free to install, it's no problems at all. So what I'll do now, next thing is I'll close that down. I already downloaded and I just gotta open up. It detected my gaming PC here, as you can see, Mr. P, my gaming PC detected. But let's say if you're setting up this for the first time, which I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna reset the settings and I'll show you what happens when you are doing this for the first time. So just give me two seconds. Uh, I'm resetting the settings on the Windows side. So on the Windows side, I've done nothing apart of, I just turned off and on the game streaming service. So right now, it's automatically detecting my game streaming computer. If I click on this, it connects straight away. If, well, I try to show what's gonna happen, but well, it's failed, but in basically what's gonna happen is when you click on that, it's gonna show you a four code, four digit code, and you will see a message pops up somewhere by here on your Windows computer saying, do you wanna link this Windows computer, gaming computer with your Moonlight app? If yes, please enter the uh, code which you see on this screen on there. So when it's all links in, it scans your gaming library on your computer, Steam games and not Steam games like Horizon Free and Minecraft. And when it's all detected, you are ready to go. You're ready to game. So how I'm gonna do a gaming is I'm gonna use Moga Power Pro controller. With the keyboard and mouse is a bit tricky because the mouse input on the Android devices is not like a drag and drop, it's more a click base. So it's very hard to do and game play the game. So as you can see right now, 
I'm using a controller to go through it. And next, first game, what we're gonna try is Skyrim. Uh, buttons don't wanna work for start the game. So to start the game, I just need to tap. And now what's happening, I hope I'll be able to show you. My gaming PC starts showing the game and it's running on my gaming PC up here. So I'll move the camera a bit back. Let's let's focus everything in there. So you will see what actually the gaming computer is showing and what I'm getting via stream. I would like to point out that my gaming PC is connected via Ethernet cable and a Chromebook is connected via Wi-Fi. So let's see what's gonna happen. <clears throat> so right now I need to go and continue the game. <clears throat> so let's flip flip that a bit. Here we are, increase the brightness. So Screen in front of you, this this screen is a Chromebook, this is a gaming PC, and you will see the latency between two of them. So let's wait until the game loads. Uh, as you can see on the bottom right hand corner, the 60 is basically GeForce experience overlaying the frames per second. So actual gaming PC is showing 60 frames per second. That's what this number is. So let's wait. Let's wait. It's loading. So far, obviously, the picture on the gaming PC is much brighter than on this. It's just uh, the way I set up the monitor. But it's all here we are. So right now, as you can see, um, this is me, and I'll do uh, the button test. So if I'll press jump, so it's three, two, one, jump. As you saw this, it's a very, very big latency between. So one, two, three, four, jump. Even this control is connected via Bluetooth to Android enabled Chromebook device, which sends a signal via Wi-Fi to my home network and then signal goes to my gaming PC. The controller is actually, actually very responsive. I can actually connect this to my Chromebook and play on my PC and don't look at this screen. But as, as you can see, so right now, turn. Turn. So let's try to do a bit of gaming. Now, as you can see, it's, I'm controlling, control, there is no latency of the controls, but actually video decoding is way behind. I don't see how I can play this game using this screen. Well, let's say this screen is don't exist. And like I said, the latency is very big. So if you wanna play Skyrim, when you're somewhere in an internet calf, it's not the best way to do it. It's this a big, big latency. Or at least it's about a second or half a second. So let's go try another game. So quit to a desktop. <clears throat> and yes. <coughs> so we're now back to a desktop. And the mouse just moves around, but there is no area. Connection terminated. Okay. So what it does now, um, Moonlight goes back to where it was in the beginning and Windows computer is just start, it stands on um, wallpaper basically. So next game we're going to try is let's say Bioshock. Again, controller don't want to start playing the game so I need to tap on the screen. And my Chromebook got the <coughs> touch screen so that's how it's working. <coughs> so let's wait. Right now I'm starting Bioshock. And as you can see straight away, the latency. The sound comes from the, the Chromebook. So sound comes from a Chromebook. Uh, control inputs is no lag, but actual picture or ending is, is very, very behind. So quickly start the game. <coughs> You're kidding me, 296 frames per second was for a second. So if you're planning to play, let's say, action shooting games, is, is he latency? As you can hear, sound coming from a Chromebook. So, sound don't delays. 
but there is actual delay in actual gameplay is is not the way to do, go so um, if you want to play games and stream games actually to your Chromebook device using a Moonlight app um, is not the way to go for it is laggy well it's not laggy it's, it's, it's big latency latency is an issue and for everyone who's oh you need to do a resolution and stuff I was rendering everything at 720p at 30 frames per second with a bitrate target only 50 megabits per second so very low quality stream but still there is a delay there is a delay um if you have an idea what i need to do or you have a suggestion the way to change all this let me know in the comment section below and i'll see you in the next video thank you very much for watching and bye bye